What's going on guys, Espionage Micro here, and today I am bringing you a video a little bit out of the ordinary for my channel. I have done things like this in the past, but it's not what I usually upload, and that's going to be sort of a, a walkthrough tutorial type of a thing on uh, how to maximize your internet speed on the NetDuma R1 gaming router. With the new Call of Duty coming up, and you know, gaming getting more serious, people are realizing that internet is a big part of Call of Duty, and any shooter really. Uh, they want to get that extra internet, they want to get their full maximum internet power. They want to get going, you Call of Duty players know what I'm talking about dog. You know what I'm talking about if you want to throttle your internet, you know, I I'm just saying, y'all know, y'all know, Call of Duty players, what I'm talking about. If not, go look it up. Anyways guys, so that's what we're going to be doing here. Maximize your internet speed, whether you're going to be throttling or not. I personally do not throttle, I like to get my maximum internet power, I think throttling's kind of cheap. Anyway, that's besides the point, uh, let's go ahead and, and get into it. The NetDuma R1 gaming router, I will be doing a review on this uh, in the near future here, maybe a walkthrough of how to, how to uh, just, well, I, we'll get to that in the future, but today, let's focus on the task at hand, which is how to maximize your internet speed using this router. Alright, so I have reset my NetDuma to its factory settings, so it should be everything exactly the same as it comes out of the box. It should be exactly, if you just got this router, you just hooked it up, plugged it in, it should have the exact same settings as you do. And with that being said, let's go ahead and go to speedtest.net or your internet testing uh, uh, site of choice. Um, this is the most widely known one. Ha, ah, what's that blur down there? That's my IP. You ain't seeing my IP. I ain't trying to get dosed. Alrighty, so what you're going to do, just click begin test. And this is going to check your, your download speed, your upload speed. And I know a big problem with this router is that you get it to, to, to boost your internet, right? But a lot of the times, and I've, I have this problem, and I know I've seen a ton of Reddit threads and NetDuma forums where that doesn't happen. You, your internet gets drastically reduced in speed when you originally hook this router up. And, you know, people are like, what the hell? I just paid however much. I don't even know how much it is or how much I paid for it. 200 bucks, 150, something like that to get my maximum internet speed. And it, and it reduced my internet speed by like three times, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. So, as you can see here, I had an 8 ping, which is good, respectable. I had a 53.93 megabits a second download and a 7.29 megabits upload. I already know my internet speeds. I pay for 300 download and a 7 upload, so my upload's not too bad. My download, though, yeah, bruh, bruh, I'm paying for 300 and I'm only getting 53 point nine three unacceptable and that's where i come in to help you guys so you're going to want to go over here 192.168.88.1 that's how you get to the screen this is the net duma dashboard so first things first you're going to want to know your internet speeds um like i said i pay for 300 down seven up that's the best absolute best internet i can get in my area residential i would have to you know have an office building in order to get fiber internet in my area which is 10 gigs down and 10 gigs up which i tried i tried my hardest to get that but they absolutely would not install it in a residential area anyway i chip uh charter spectrum that's my internet service provider in case y'all were wondering i'll be doing a review on their internet and, and something here in the in the near future How, uh, however you're going to want to know your internet speeds, your personal internet speeds. I know if you're gaming, you're that serious to where you need a NetDuma gaming router or you want a NetDuma gaming router. You probably already know your internet speeds. That's great. If you don't, you're going to need to ask your parents what they pay for in terms of internet speed. Uh, call your internet service provider and ask them. It may be on your bill or something like that. But first things first, you're going to want to know your internet speeds. Once you do that, once you obtain it, if you already know, let's hop into the next step. First off, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the little button here that says congestion control link. I know I said button. Um, so if you have a below 60 megabit download speed, uh, general rule of thumb here differs. You know, some internets act differently with these algorithms right here. General rule of thumb, though is if your download speed is below 60 megabits a second, you're going to want to use preemptive. If it's 60 or above download megabits per second, you're going to want to use reactive. So I have 300, so I'm going to click on reactive. This right here, I'm not going to get into. Um, you're just going to want to worry about the algorithm. Once you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and click set bandwidth right here. 
and this is where this is why you needed your internet speeds so I pay for 300 I mean that's that's good if you just want to put exactly what you're you pay for in here that's good but you kind of want to know what you can get so that's why I like to put a little bit above there I know I've, I've done these speed tests already I know with my maximum internet speed I get about 300 to 30 download and about 7.5 upload so my upload is not too bad but my download is cut drastically so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and put 360 because I know that's a little bit above what I'm supposed to be getting and I want to get I want to maximize it I don't want to cap it at 300 if I can go above that so I'm gonna go ahead and put 300 and just in case I get more on my upload I'm having a good internet day I'll go ahead and leave that at 10 megabits up so I'll go ahead and put that 360, I'll leave that at 10, and then I'm going to hit update bandwidth. Once I do that, this little prompt is going to come up saying, would you like the router to automatically configure to handle your speeds? This is where I made a mistake at first, and this is where you really, this is the important step of the entire thing. You're going to want to hit yes on this. I wanted to personalize it the way I wanted. I wanted to have complete control over my internet speeds, so I click no and I set it all myself. Still crap internet speed, so you're gonna want to hit yes. This allows the the NetDuma to automatically configure all the miscellaneous settings, settings that you might even know not might not know what they even do. Disable them or enable them, comparing to, uh, you know depending on what your internet speeds are. So you're gonna want to hit yes on that. This makes your NetDuma pretty much do all the work for you. All that all that you know extra IQ points that you may not have. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't have them. So it just does all that for you, and then it will warn you that Wi-Fi speeds are slower. Um, just to give you a heads up, guys, the NetDuma gaming router is designed for a hardwired LAN connection, a straight Ethernet from the NetDuma to your computer or gaming console or whatever the case is. That's what it's designed for. So you're, this isn't for wireless um, you know, Wi-Fi at all. So this isn't the router for that. Nighthawks and, and things of that nature are for wireless gaming. This is not one of them. So this is not going to help your, your wireless speeds at all. If anything, it's going to hinder them so that your, your LAN connection is you know maximized. So after you're done with that, you updated all of that. Um, you're pretty much done at this point. There may be an extra step that you might have to do. But after doing that... As you can see, my download speed was 53.93. My upload speed was 7.29. After that's been done, let's go ahead and run that test again. And let's see what happens, right? Five ping. It went down a lot. And look at that. Already, dog, past 300. Let's see what I can get. Let's see. Keep going. Keep going. Max the server out, dog. Max the server. You know you want to. It doesn't look like it's going to. It's keeping, it's, it's keeping on. Keeping on, though. 334. 335. All right, so it averaged out my download speed at 332.42. Let's see what my upload speed does. My upload speed always goes a little bit slower to get to its max on the uh, after I do this process. It usually doesn't lower it. It looks like on this test, it is going to be a tad bit lower. Don't worry. That's that's I can tell you right now. That's a little faux pas. That's it usually doesn't do that. But 6.36, not a not a huge difference. But look at that. 332.42 compared to what was it 60 59 something like that 63 I don't even remember what it was but look at how much more download speed you get the upload speed I promise you it doesn't usually drop but this time it was a little bit different and I just connected to the server like I made it auto connect to a server so it connects to the server that's it's given me the best connection to the best ping to a five ping not so bad so if that didn't help you that much or if it didn't help you at all Maybe it's because your internet speeds aren't capable of, of certain things. I'll show you a little trick that uh, helped me get internet speed before I knew this little trick that I, I'm doing now. So in your settings, you're going to want to go to a couple different ones here. So at first, you're going to want to click on LAN. And then all of these, I wouldn't worry about. I don't worry about because I don't know what the hell they do. But this one, IPv6. As you can see here, my NetJuma automatically disabled it for me. Um, it will come default enabled. And so if it is enabled, you're going to want to hit disable and then click apply. IPv6, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it stands for. I'm not into it like that. But I do know that it slows down my internet speed personally with the NetDuma. So you're going to want to go ahead and disable that. You're going to want to go to the wand settings. 
and then the same thing ipv6 make sure it's disabled hit apply go ahead run the test again and hopefully you're getting your maximum internet speed here and then it should be noted too, something I forgot to mention, obviously, you're going to want to make sure that your download caps are at 100%. Uh, you don't really want to mess with these too much unless you're throttling your internet, like I mentioned before. I'll do a tutorial and, and uh, we'll get into that. But as you can see, guys, 50-something or 60-something compared to 332. That's over the amount that I'm paying for by 32.42 megabits. This right here, not quite as good on the second attempt, but I already explained that. So anyways, guys, that's about it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully it did help you get, you know, your maximum internet with the NetDuma gaming router. It was an issue I was having. It's an issue someone in uh, someone else in my organization's having. And it, it is a big issue, you know, on the forums. And I see a lot of people are having this problem when they originally get this router. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to hit that hot thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hit that bell notification to know anytime I go live or anytime I post a video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the stream and let your people know. I said stream again. The micro was out here giving you your maximum internet connection. And I will see you guys on the next video or stream. Peace out, guys.